Hey, I'm Sarah. I'm a designer and I've painted my fair share of rooms, so I know it can be pretty intimidating. But today, I'm going to share my top tips to make your next project a total breeze. My good friend Laura has asked me to turn her boring beige condo into a truly spectacular space. I'm going to show her how a little bit of paint can go a long way, especially when you follow these easy steps. I've created a great inspiration board for this space, so it's time to get painting. I know that it's tempting to just start rolling paint on the walls, but if you don't prepare, it won't look professional. This means filling holes, sanding any imperfections, and of course cleaning all of your walls before you start painting. There's nothing worse than starting a project and then realizing that you forgot something and have to run back to the store. Do yourself a favor and make sure that you have everything that you need before a single drop of paint touches the wall. Some brands even sell foolproof kits that contain everything you'll need. Chances are you like your stuff and you're going to want to protect it. So cover it all up with drop cloths. I like using plastic sheets to cover furniture, but when it comes to floors, I like canvas drop cloths because they're non-slip and they absorb paint. Rather than wrapping tons of tape around doorknobs and other wall fixtures, wrap foil around them to protect them from paint trips. If you don't have a steady hand, because like me, you drink way too much coffee, then you're going to have to tape off before you cut in with a brush. Press the edges of your tape down firmly with something like a stir stick. The friction will help create a better seal. And for a clean edge, it's best to remove the tape before the paint dries. My next tip is to practice safe dipping. Rather than messing up the rim of your can, wrap a rubber band around it and use that to remove excess paint from your paintbrush. If you need to take a break, that's cool, but don't let your paintbrushes dry out. Wrap them in a plastic bag and store them in your fridge. Away from your food, of course. Now let's talk rollers. No matter what type you use, it's important to defluff it using a lint roller. This will prevent those fluffs from ruining your paint job. We've all heard to roll in a W shape, but remember, short and wide W's, bad. Tall and narrow W's, good. This will give you more even coverage and overall better results. And my last tip is to make it fun and turn up those tunes. Hope these tips make your next paint job a little less painful. And to see how we're using paint to add even more personality to Laura's space, check out the next video in the series. And be sure to stay tuned till the end to see the final transformation.